This video is sponsored by ProDemand from Mitchell One. Complete OEM and real-world repair information delivered in a single lookup. For more information and a free demonstration, visit MitchellOne.com. Whenever you pull a car into one of your bays, you're going to have to know two things. How do I lift the vehicle? And what is the torque for the lug nuts? Before, this information was typically in two places. It could have been a book on the lift itself or stored somewhere in the shop where you could never find it. And the lug nut torque? Well, it may be a poster. You may have to go to the service information online. But these two pieces of information are critical to servicing all vehicles. The other thing to remember is these are two pieces of safety information. The part about lifting the vehicle properly, well, that's for your safety so the vehicle doesn't fall off the lift, become unstable on the lift, or have other issues on the lift where you're damaging the underside of the vehicle. Knowing the proper lug torque and also the inflation pressure, well, it can prevent customers having safety issues with their tires and wheels especially if you over torque a lug nut and they have a flat tire and they have to change it and they can't get with the lug nut off, well, they're gonna blame you. But these two pieces of information can be found in your repair service information database. With this information, immediately when you pull that car into the bay, even before you kick out the arms on your lift, you can know where to properly lift that vehicle. And this is becoming more and more critical on vehicles that have plastic underneath aerodynamic elements underneath the vehicle. You can always assume that there is a exposed pinch weld or an area of a subframe or the frame itself to put the lift on. You need to be looking up this information. So the next time you pull a vehicle into your bay and you look at the service order and you realize what you have to do on the vehicle, go to your service information and find out how to lift the vehicle. What's the lug nut torque specification? With these two pieces of information, you're gonna make your service job a lot more efficient and a lot more profitable. I'm Andrew Markell, thank you very much.